Welcome to another lecture of our prologue playlist. Today we will learn how to calculate uh, the all the values or summation of a list or the length of a list. Okay, so I will just uh, type these two codes together. So first to check the length of the list, we will also use recursion here and we have already uh, told you how we divide list into two parts that is the first element as h and the next element as uh, t that is tail so uh, we need to write the base condition here first so the base condition here will obviously be that the if the list is empty then the length will be zero so uh, to uh, how to denote empty list here so this uh, will uh, denote it by only uh, two third brackets okay so inside that there will be nothing so this is uh, the symbol of empty list so if the list is empty the length will obviously be zero and this will be our base condition for the recursion and if the list is not empty then we will divide it into two parts that is h and t but for here we are writing underscore instead of uh, h Be why because we do not care whatever the element is in the head we will just uh, need to uh, have the count of the elements okay so uh, we do not care whatever it is so that's why i have written underscore here and we are going to call the recurring function that is uh, the similar lane function here for the rest of the list that is the tail part and here it will return as a value r1 and uh, we will just add a single one that is uh, i will increment the length of the list by one after that okay so it will act as a recurring function so how do we uh, to uh, know that i have already discussed uh, the um, working of the recurring function and how it works in my previous video so you go check it once and um, see this this will just uh, give us the length of the list okay so whenever the function will call be called for the empty list it will just return as value 0 and now it will be uh, going to uh, the stack again and again and return a value with incrementing it 1 and 1 so this will give us the length of the list and now let's check it for the sum of the list or the sum of the members of the list so it will be again the same that is if the list is empty then sum will be 0 that is uh, going to be our base condition and for uh, the sum we need our head element we, okay so now we are writing h not underscore so we are just going to add the head element with our sum for every recurring call okay so we will just uh, um, call the recurring function for the rest of the uh, list that is for the tail part and after that we are adding it to our uh, result of the sum of the rest of the list okay so s is going to be s1 plus h we are adding h here so this will going to give us the sum of the list so now let's run it and see see uh, we are going to run it for a list here i will check the length and the sum both here for the uh, single list now let's check so see the length function is working fine that is it is giving us zero for empty list and uh, it is also giving us the correct value for non-empty list now we will check the sum function as you can see it is also working fine that is our sum of the 1 2 3 4 5 list is 15 now let's do another thing using this uh, only single program which we have written already we will try to find average of a list okay so to find average of a list what we need we need the sum of the elements and the length of the list then we divide the sum with the length so we have already known how to calculate the length and the sum and we have already written this function so we will just we need to use the function call so the ever a base case for this will uh, be similar that is if there is no element the average will be zero but if there is element then we will uh, just find uh, the length of the list and we will also find the sum of the list and the length of the list and by dividing the sum with the length we will just calculate the average of the list through these two function calls so the function call of the sum will give us the sum and its output will be stored inside this variable s and also the function call of the length will give us the length and its output will be stored inside variable l so now we will find the average by just doing uh, sum by l uh, length that is s by l so we will assign it to the output of our average function that is a so a is s by l will give us the average now we will run it and check so see here the average of the first five numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 is uh, giving us 3 that is the sum is 15 and length is 5 we have already calculated that and its average is giving us a 3 so it's correct and also the average of uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 will give us 2.5 here is another program here we are going to split the given list into two different lists that is pause and neck 
that is for positive numbers list and negative number list so for that we will use recursion again and the base condition will always be the same that is uh, if the list is empty we are going to have an empty list for positive numbers and empty list for negative numbers now we are just going to split the list in h and t and if the h is uh, positive that is greater than zero then we will uh, uh, add that h into our positive numbers list and the negative numbers list which remains same so this function we are writing right now is for positive numbers okay if the h is positive number so each h greater than zero then what we will do we are adding h with uh, the positive numbers list and negative numbers list remains same and we are again calling the split function for the remaining list that is t okay and now for the negative number that is if the h is a negative number we will just add it to the negative number list but positive number list will remain same and again we will be calling it that is our split function but uh, after the uh, first uh, function uh, call that is for the positive numbers function call where we are adding the h with the positive number list we need to use a cut and then it will not uh, check the negative numbers part okay so if it is positive number it will be just added with the positive number part but it is not positive number only then it will go to the negative number part now let's run it and check so here is a list we have have with both positive and negative numbers and for the uh, output of the positive number list we have a variable pause and a variable neg so these are variable as the first letters are capital so see the variables uh, positive number have only positive numbers and neg have only negative numbers so do subscribe and like our video